Hello my dear friends, today I am going to show you how much many Clash of Kings made in this whole year. This is amazing, over 168 million dollars Clash of Kings make in a year, according to Google. So let me show you. So you can check in this picture. So the proof is the biggest proof is that Google and the other biggest uh, uh, investigators uh, uh, websites like Wikipedia they also uh, ex explain that information about Google. So there are more almost 100 million downloaders. So it means there are a lot of spenders in Clash of Kings, very big spenders. So guys, so that is the Clash of Kings details. So the Clash of Kings also. Uh, very famous game like I was start playing in 2015 2015 and I was continue playing the different castle and different kingdoms uh, like my first castle was in 1019 kingdom and a lot of other different kingdoms so in 1019 kingdom so maybe one of you guys from there so let me tell you my airline's name my airline's name was in there so the red kingdom that time there was a king name was Haram land so that days I didn't uh, know where he is right now so but I am still playing 2097 kingdom and I have a p5 castle there uh, it's because we need to spend a lot of money to go in your favorite kingdom uh, in kingdom transfer if you if we got a p6 castle so I think if you are less spender, so it's better for you to uh, have a P5 and another P6 castle that you continue in the same kingdom. So because P6 is a very hard to kingdom transfer, like uh, uh, last transfer my power was 102 million without true power, but I didn't get a pretty good kingdom. I was uh, in my same kingdom because I this kingdom where I able to transfer was very strong so that's the problem but in my p5 I am 2097 kingdom I didn't choose, choose 2098 because of uh, there are the peaceful kingdom so my p5 is a little bit stronger so I think I, uh, 2097 is the better kingdom for me so guys what you're thinking about to make another p5 castle so I spend a less money to go in other kingdoms in kingdom transfer to enjoy a lot clash of kings as my experience if if we play clash of kings we need to spend a lot like uh, if you want to get a good kingdom then maybe a hundred dollar and two hundred dollar maybe five hundred dollar like this so a lot of big spenders are there they spend more than thousands don't know how much they spend but according to the clash of king detail 168 million dollars so as i think only 1000 or 2000 biggest spenders spend that money more than 50 percent of that so the other 50 percent 99 percent clash of king players spend lesses so that's a big margin very big spenders like billionaires so it's a it's better to have a p5 castle because then we can get kingdom transfer in our favorite kingdoms so guys to tell my topic is about spenders of clash of kings we seen a lot of big spenders lot of big spenders as uh, i know in my past kingdom i seen many spenders like in 1015 kingdom very big spender uh, united states of american person uh, was a uh, a black picture with uh, dollars like that uh, last time I saw him over 700 million power in that kingdom and was a very good status so last time when I was in this airlines he told me that he spent almost around six thousand dollars it's a lot it's a lot because in my whole clash of king experience I spent almost uh, almost three hundred dollars less than maybe a between them so as i think uh, the biggest spenders like these we should have a p5 castle in p5 castle if you create that today next till next kingdom transfer if you have a good experience i'm sure that you can be a good status till there 
after two or three transfer you will be a great player so guys please subscribe to the my channel and like and share for more better advice so thank you we will meet in the meet in the next video and thank for your support